The following contest is a battle royale. Making his way to the ring from Jersey City, New Jersey, weighing in at 210 pounds, Brandon Collins. This will be a sight to be seen, guys, as these superstars all compete for the same goal here in this battle royal. But only one can walk away the winner of this match, Michael, and at this point, I can make a legitimate case for any one of these superstars. From the Jersey Shore, weighing in at 220 pounds, the prototype, Cameron Baker. This is great, guys. This battle royal promises to be amazing. And let's not forget that simply going over the top rope is not enough to get eliminated. Both feet must touch the arena floor in order for your night to end. From parts unknown, weighing in at 215 pounds, Hurricane. A big time battle royal here, guys. Who do you like? in this one, Byron. Well, historically, you're safest when you put your money on the biggest superstar. But to be honest, I'm not sure. I can see any one of these competitors walking away with a win. Weighing in at 174 pounds, the Snake King. It sounds to me like this crowd is ready to get this battle royal underway. And so are these superstars, Michael. Each and every one of them have a golden opportunity to prove their dominance.
And from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 206 pounds, Dalton Derrick. Guys, you have to think that this battle royal will be one for the ages. Truer words may never have been spoken, Michael. This battle royal has all the elements of an instant classic. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 206 pounds, the Kid P.A.V. As we get started here, let me remind everybody that the only way to get eliminated from this battle royal is to get thrown over the top rope and have both feet touch the arena floor. And not only does it take a tremendous amount of skill to be successful in a battle royal, but there's also a good deal of luck that goes into it as well. From parts unknown, weighing in at 245 pounds, The Wanderer. A massive humanity in the ring right now as we get ready for this battle royal. And this is going to be one of those matches where you hope the crew did everything in their power to construct a ring as durably as possible. Otherwise, we might be in for a disaster.
from Orlando, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Cole Quinn. Byron, as we get started here, tell me what's the best approach to take in a battle royal. Well, the first thing I would do is make some alliances and go after the biggest competitor. From there, I'd stay as far away from the ropes as possible. That's where all the trouble goes down. here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. This is where all it takes is one move and your opponent can gain the upper hand. That could be a game changer. Kick to the gut. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top row. Oh. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, my God, what an elbow. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Oh my! What a clothesline! Ouch! Boom! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, what a slam! That hurt! What a strike! Right on the mark! Caught him right in the jaw! Ugh, what a shot! Look at this! In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Crucial moment. What a strike. But he's got to capitalize now. X marks the spot on that one. Ooh. Comes up big with the reversal. He's taking some offense. But it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. Oh, this is all but over. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. Nailed it. Vicious strike. When this guy's on, oh. look out. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. He's starting to stumble here. I don't think he expected to be in this position here, oh, man. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. Harsh impact. 
impact. He's not looking good here. You can bet this is not how he drew this one up. Don't run him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. This is it. These competitors trying to keep their wits about them. You gotta believe this one's over. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Super kick! But he's running on beautiful technique. Nice. Shut it down. Boom, what impact! Looks like he's starting to falter. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Ah, kick. Nasty kick. That's going to leave a mark. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Oh, nasty impact. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? You're a doggy! Just when you thought he had nothing left. Avoids trouble there. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. This one is over. Right across. What a strike. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. He's making a statement here with this attack. Set it up. He's in big trouble. What's he going to do with it? What's he got in mind? This might be it! Oh, my! He's lining him up. He's looking at it. Oh, incredible height. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Something big is coming. Showing some quickness there. Yes! Unreal performance. That match deserves another look, folks. This was another great moment. Yeah, he's putting in the work. He ain't messing around. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here is your winner, Cole Quinn. What a grueling victory here in this elimination match. To run the gamut like we just saw here tonight is among the toughest things a WWE competitor can do. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead.
The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 174 pounds, Mike Bailey. Three big names set to do battle here tonight, guys, in this triple threat match. You're right, Michael. It doesn't get much bigger than this. And judging from the crowd reaction, they completely agree with us. And his opponents, first, from North Carolina, weighing in at 242 pounds, James Furious. Guys, while exciting, we have to remember that triple threat matches are incredibly dangerous. Especially when a two-on-one attack takes place, which is inevitably going to happen at some point here tonight, Michael. From New York, weighing in at 208 pounds, Macho T. Ladies and gentlemen, the atmosphere inside this arena right now is absolutely unreal. This crowd cannot wait to get to this triple threat match. And they haven't sat down yet, Michael. I'm willing to bet they'll be on their feet the entire match. Here we go, folks. Jeez. Triple threat action underway here. The unpredictability of a triple threat match makes this almost impossible to predict. Any one of these three could walk out of here the winner. Nice. Ooh, nasty impact. Ooh, boom, what impact. Ooh, what impact. Ooh. Ooh, what an Man. upper Larian. Ooh, what there it is. Oh, what incredible power. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Yeah, I don't believe that, that, that he didn't win this match right there. It's gonna take more than that. Here he goes. Looks like he's starting to lose it here. Oh, clothesline! What a stomp! 
Good grief. you got to believe this one's over. He's starting to show signs of fatigue, but not for a second do oh, I man. expect him to back down now. The superstar always needs to be ready to be attacked by both opponents in a triple threat match. Circumstances create interesting alliances, and the numbers game can become your worst enemy in a hurry when you're competing against two other opponents. No matter how you look at it, it's a situation you don't want to be in, but you must prepare for it. Up into the electric chair. Oh my god, what a German suplex! A competitor must be ready for the possibility they'll fall victim to a two-on-one attack on a triple threat match. A great example of that was the triple threat match on SmackDown Live between AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, and Baron Corbin. No one thought that Ziggler and Styles would work together to perform a double dive off the barricade that put Corbin through the Spanish announce table. And that's exactly what a superstar always needs to have in the back of their mind. That at some point, their two opponents will... Here's the cover. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Gonna take more than that. Attack to the midsection. In February of 2017, SmackDown Live was lit thanks to an epic triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Champion Bray Wyatt defended the title against former champions John Cena and AJ Styles. This battle overflowed with mayhem before the match even... He might have it. Oof! I knew it was only a matter of time. It's not often that the WWE Championship is incapacitated before a title defense. John Cena and AJ Styles rekindled the rivalry with a renewed enthusiasm for destroying one another. Bray Wyatt ended the match and made up for lost time as the Eater of Worlds used his body as a weapon. It was pure chaos as AJ Styles followed suit with an unbelievable array of aerial attacks on both superstars. And John Cena continued to fight back in hopes of winning a record-breaking 17th World Championship. All three superstars pulverized each other with every move in their respective arsenals. When it looked like another air assault was coming from AJ Styles, John Cena thwarted the attempt and then walked right into Sister Abigail from Bray Wyatt to end the conflict. In that victory, the WWE went further into the darkness that was the era of Wyatt. Struggling a bit here. He's starting to pull the ball. Oh, oh, are you no, he he's kidding me? Back of his neck. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He's going for the pin. And he breaks the pin. Now the arm's trapped. Scoop slam. He's cheating, Rep! He's cheating! Stop being such a tattletale, Cole. And he kicks out. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Harsh impact. Nailed it. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. He goes for the cover, and he doesn't stay down for long. Nah, not yet. Too early. Lightning fast reflexes. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Ooh. Wow, I'm just... His shoulders are down. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. Triple Tuts always deliver three times the action, and that one was no exception. Take a look.
Check him out here. He's getting after it here. He's getting it done here. And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner, Macho T. Really, this match could have gone to any three of these competitors. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. What a matchup that was. Truly incredible. contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from Tacoma Washington weighing in as we at ready for singles pounds, action Byron what can you tell Shane us about these two competitors Scott. well I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight but as we all know only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory One-on-one -on -one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet it'll be memorable.
And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional no. about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Beautiful technique. He's got the shoulders down. That wasn't even close to three. Way too early. Look at this. Oh, it's right to the side of the face. He looks a bit off his game here. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Oh, what impact! He's starting to stagger a bit. This Ooh. could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Yeah, but it looks to me like oh. he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Gonna take more than that. What a stomp! Good grief! Elbow drop! Piercing. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Uh-oh. Look at that! Big time slam! Vicious. Here's his chance. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Here, oh, nasty impact. He needs to capitalize on it now. He's got some fight left in him. Might have slipped there, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's on the defensive now. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. I've never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this. Thing. This might be it. Oh, my. Can he end it here? Can he score the pin? And there's a kick at it, too. Just power out. Looking for the finish. He's looking at it. about time, Byron, for you to coach the Hill Pele kick. Oh, my. Here's his moment, Michael. He's got him covered. And you can put this singles match in the books. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Check this out. Almost forgot about this one. Man, this was great. Ain't nothing better than action like this.
Here is your winner, Aaron Matthews. What a grueling match. It looked like anybody's match there toward the end. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. Wow. Just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match. Making her way to the ring from Orlando, Florida, America's sweetheart, Santana Garrett. Here we go, guys. The triple threat match we've all been waiting for. And any time you get to see these superstars compete in the same ring at the same time is a real treat. Byron, what's the game plan for these superstars heading into this triple threat match? Michael, a lot of times you'll see a competitor lurking in the weeds, just waiting for the right time to strike. But knowing these three superstars the way I do, I doubt we'll see any of them standing by idly here tonight. Byron, what should we expect here tonight in this triple threat match? When it comes to triple threats, Michael, you really have to expect the unexpected. Adding that third superstar to the fray really does add a level of intrigue that just can't be found in a traditional one-on-one -on -one match. And we're underway with triple threat action. Ouch. Flapjack. Nailed it. Head over heels. Yeah, incredible flip. Oh, hair pulled that slam. Going for the big one. 
She better do something fast. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. That's what you call a bad landing. Scissors applied it. Oh, look at this. And she's back in the ring now. You gotta believe this one's over. Beginning to look bad wow. for her here. She might want to think about taking a breather and letting the other two women go oh, at man. it for a while. She's definitely slowing down here a bit. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. Slammed with authority. Drop kick. Right on the money. She's starting to take a beating. Look out, look out. This could be it. She better do something fast. Look out. There she goes. When she gets in attack mode, look out. This could be a super kick. Here's her chance. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Still too fresh. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. Got the reversal. High cross body. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. Oh, man, she is rolling now. I've talked to several people who think she's bitten off more than she can chew here. I can't say that I agree. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Harsh impact. How much more? We've got to cover. Well, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. I can't believe what we're seeing here. The end may be near. This one is over. Beautiful technique. She's starting to stammer here. I can tell. She goes for the cover. There's the pinfall. And the victory. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. Go. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Here is your winner, America's sweetheart, Santana Garrett. Looking dominant at times in the victory. That was one of the most exciting triple threat matches I've seen in a long time. After that, I can't wait for the next time we have an opportunity to call a triple threat match.
It's one of Mexico's top stars, El Mago. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Mexico. Weighing in oh, my at Spanish is a little rusty. Hey guys, pounds. what does El Mago El mean? Mago. I believe it translates to the magician. That's perfect. Hopefully after the match, El Mago can make Saxton disappear. And his opponent, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 190 pounds, Chris Danger. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. Luchadon. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Running Hurricane Rana. What a stop! Good. Taking out the arm, great strategy. Corey, tell me, just how much strength does carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. Oh, what a mayor on him. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. This might be it! Oh, my! Devastating kick! Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. And he gets the shoulder up. Too soon. And look at the quickness by El Mago. Impressive. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh my God. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Ooh, what impact. He's on the defensive here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. What are they going to do here? Oh, the clover leaf! Check out the torque on the back. Oh, what a kick! believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. Not even close. Ooh. Oh boy, he is good. El Mago, you gotta believe this one's over. I'm not sure how much he has left. His shoulders are down. This guy's a competitor. He's not going down yet. It's gonna take more than that. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, what impact. Rock 
kick right on point. He's in trouble. El Marco oh, right to the chest. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Penny in predicament. And he manages to get the shoulder up. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. in a bad way. his metal guys oh man his chances are dwindling quickly he's just taking on so much punishment well it'd be unrealistic to expect him to not at least take some offense here the good news for him is that he still appears to be in a Ooh, right in the face destroyed we may be looking at our winner here he's got him down this is it two three yes takes it And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. He ain't playing here. Remember this? Man, oh man, look at that. And finally... Here is your winner, Chris Danger. Talk about having to dig down deep to pick up the win. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. With that win in the books, we must now move on. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, the Diamond, Miss Blanchard.
There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. Two of WWE's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. You can feel the electricity oh, wow. running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. The collar and elbow tie-up in a battle for control here. Stop! Good grief! Harsh impact! Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. What a stomp. Good grief. Clothesline. Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah. Down, and I can tell you it's not a pleasant trip. She's taking on some heat. This is not how she drew this one up. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Frog. Nailed it. She has some reason. She here goes we go. for the cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Too early in the match to end it. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. No, she's too quick for her. Comes up big with a reversal. And she turns it around on her. Inside the ring now. Oh, damage to the body. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Yeah, it's going to take more than that.
Not looking good for her right now. You have to wonder how much more she has left in the tank. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight. And now she's paying for it. Oh, man, this match is so evenly matched. It's unbelievable. Any one of these women can win at this point. He's able to get out of the way there. Oh. Right, back handle finds its target. She's not careful. Things can get out of control in a hurry. Uh, I think they're about to. On oh, the back of the neck. Whoa, it's another reversal. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Oh, you can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Looking for the win. Cutter! Can't waste any time here. Will she win it here? The singles match has come to an end. Wow. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. That's a woman on a mission. Who could forget this? I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here is your winner, the Diamond, Miss Blanchard. The shoulders were down for three, and this one's in the books. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great match. It's the brains behind BCW, Baron Blade. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 250 pounds, Baron Blade. Did I miss the memo? Because apparently it's bring a washed up indie promoter to work day. Wow, there's got to be something you like about Baron Blade. I mean, his hairstyle, it's similar to yours. To quote my good friend Booker T, tell me you did not just say that. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 172 pounds, the Dragon King.
Corey, what should we be on the lookout for here in this steel cage match? Cole, you can bet both of these superstars will be looking to use the cage to their advantage as much as possible here tonight. At least they should be looking to do that. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive oh. offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. And there are few things more unforgiving than oh. the cold steel of a cage match. What a stomp! Good grief! technique oh nasty impact harsh impact nailed it and here we go to elbow drop there's a pin now that was nowhere near a three count it could take more than that Head scissor. Ooh, that kick could be a game changer. Going for the cover. Baron Blade with an easy kick out. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we're seeing. Ooh, what an up. Beautiful technique. The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot high steel cage for the WWE Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape. He's got the shoulders down. Baron Blade with an easy kick out. That would have been a shocker. Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude is the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated that no one knew what to expect once the two men were able to battle inside a steel cage, which at the time was the most grueling match in all of WWE. The Ultimate Warrior dominated early on with his incredible strength. Rick Rude. No trouble getting out of that one. I don't think his opponent was expecting that. The WWE Universe has seen the evolution of the steel cage in the enclosure known today as Hell in a Cell. The first time an enclosed cage was seen was in October of 1983 in the last battle of Atlanta. The enclosed cage was seen a few years later in the War Games match from the NWA. There were even cages stacked on top of each other like WCW's Tower of Doom. All right, when we talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them, I need to point out that some cages have been electrified. One was made from bamboo in the form of a Punjabi prison match. And, of course, the elimination chamber with glass pods and steel doors. And today we have the asylum match where weapons are on top of the cage. Just goes to show you that time has made change, but the objective to destroy an opponent remains the same. There's still no better way to settle a score than to do battle with your adversary inside a steel cage. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot-high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. 
No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Corey, you said something of value for once and that anything is legal inside the steel cage. To that point, something else we've seen over the years is interference. Whether it's The Undertaker coming up through the ring or John Cena getting bashed in the head with the cage door from the outside, it's all legal in the cage. Oh, nasty impact. You gotta believe this one's over. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high rent district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man in October of 1983, Jimmy Superfly Snooker. He's making a statement here with this attack. This might be it! Oh my! He may very well have run out of gas. Things are looking dire for Baron Blade. The ref ought to just call this one. This is all but over. Well, on the plus side, he's not the only one in that ring struggling for air right now. Boom, what impact. Oh, and he reverses it. Boom! <laughs> You can see the wear and tear that this fight is taken out of these men. He survived the cage. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Look at him go. Check him out here. I remember this part very well. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here is your winner, the Dragon King. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match.